are maybe less tangible than losing dollars overtly. So going back to my example, you're an agency, you're selling traffic to a lead buyer. We'll stick with the lead generation side of things for now. These guys, these buyers are buying from you, trusting that you're delivering quality traffic. They're getting these calls that are told are clean and regular to go. Within seconds, they're passing it off to their call centers. Call centers are making these calls. It takes longer to get somebody on the call than when you know, they're not expecting your call because they didn't fill out the form. So you have your client now spending additional resources on calls. And then they're running into TCP class action lawsuits because they're making so many calls and these people literally didn't fill out the form. There's lots of scams going on, but I'm looking at this from a fraud standpoint. It's like this could all be solved at the front where the source and the traffic starts. And people call us, they want to know about a solution, but they really don't want to know. I've had people tell me, look, I don't even want to run the trial. And I'm like, well, why not? Don't you want to see how much fraud? He goes, no, because if I do, then I know I have to do something about it. And it's like, well, that's not the right answer. But again, the industry's gotten comfortable with companies selling poor quality traffic. You know, and it's gotten to the point where, you know, sometimes I talk to the buyers and they're like, well, the cost of doing business. Well, is it really? I guess if it's a couple percentage points and there's only so much you can knock out, that makes sense. But when you're talking an average of 25%, you're talking $125 billion. You're affected. If you're buying traffic of any kind, you're affected. Somebody laughed at me the other day when I told them when I was doing aggregation on that side and what my expect, like I wouldn't buy unless I got a certain conversion rate. And they were like, man, we would never get that high of a conversion rate today. I mean, it was what that the game of like, I want more leads, more leads, more leads. And then you get all this junk that people were, it was just silly because you're willing to take a lot less quality and some fraud. Um, just to get the volume that you want at the expense of the conversions, which never like the cost per whatever, uh, depending on the industry, never really made sense to me.